Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction. In this tutorial we will learn how to subtract a five digit number and a three digit number. Let's begin with our first example. What is 47,382 minus 248? Now, did you notice that when we were subtracting five-digit numbers and one digit, it was very simple. There was no real need to even do the vertical format. Well, as we've now progressed to larger numbers, the vertical format is now going to come in handy. Okay, so let's rewrite this into the nice, neat columns. We've got 47,382 minus... 248. Okay, let's label the columns. We have units, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. We are now ready to go ahead and do the subtraction. And as always, we start on the right hand side first. Now let's show some workings over here. So, units, we've got 2 minus 8. A 2 minus 8, we cannot do because 2 is smaller than 8. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 1 from the tens on the left. So let's cross out 8. 8 minus 1 is 7. And the 1 we have taken, we're going to add to the units. So therefore, the units column has now become 12 minus 8. 12 minus 8 is 4. 12 minus 8 is 4. Now we're going to do the tens. We've got 7 minus 4. Well, we know this 7 minus 4 is 3. The hundreds column, we've got 3 minus 2. The answer is 1. As for the thousands and the ten thousands, well, we're subtracting 0, so therefore they will not change. And we have arrived at our answer. It is 47,100 and 34. Okay, it really is that simple. It just requires practice and following the same principles we've used in several tutorials now. Okay, let's have a look at another one. This time we've got 72,463 minus 647. 72,463 minus 647. So the first step is to rewrite the question in nice, neat columns. 72,463 minus 647. Okay, we are ready to... Well, let's label the columns as well. We've got units, tens, hundreds, thousands, and TTH, ten thousands. Okay, we're ready to do the subtraction. And we'll show the workings out as well. So we're starting on the right-hand side. The units is 3 minus 7. Now, 3 minus 7 is something we cannot do because 3 is smaller than 7. So as in the above example, let's take 1 from the tens. Cross out 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. And the 1 we've taken... We're going to move across to the units. So the units has now become 13 minus 7. 13 minus 7 is 6. So let's write that down. Okay, now we're going to do the tens. For the tens, we've got... And let's do the workings. For the tens, we've got 5 minus 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. Okay, now on to the hundreds. For the hundreds, we have 4 minus 6. Now, 4 minus 6 we cannot do because 4 is smaller than 6. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 1 from the column on the left. That's the thousands. Let's cross out 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. And the 1 we have taken, we're going to move across to the hundreds. So the hundreds column has now become 14 minus 6. 14 minus 6 is 8. So we can write this down. 14 minus 6 is 8. Now, as for the thousands, it's 1 minus 0, so that remains 1. 
and the ten thousands we've got seven was well, seven minus zero so that remains seven so our answer is seventy one thousand eight hundred and sixteen it's very simple once you follow this the same principles we've used in this tutorial and several other tutorials now so that is how we subtract a five digit number and a three digit number